So let's check out the results. Results are very important because we do the simulation to get results and see what are the conditions, temperature, pressures, energy requirements, uh, compositions, total stream, inlets, outlets, and so on. So you can do this here in the result summary. You can check out the stream. All the streams are defined here. You can also add a stream table here. You want to, I don't know, maybe you want to have rapid access. It's all here. I really don't like this when you get plenty of, of unit operations. So I really prefer going here and you can add a by hierarchy, by streams and so on. You can even add a user specify table which only states for instance, I don't know, the total mode flow, the mode flow compositions, here's the total mode flow, kilograms per hour, maybe you are working with plenty of units so you want to know kilogram per hour and kilogram per second, the temperatures, pressure, vapor, fractions, plenty of this enthalpy data you are most likely not going to be interested on so you can do that but right now we're going to see how to go directly to the results so let's say you want to know the heat duty of this heater right here you would click here results and you go check out the temperature pressure some of them are input data some of them are calculated data as you can see i cannot modify this right here because these are results not input data so the heat duty I can change it here. I don't know. Maybe I want kilowatt per hour. What is kilowatt hour? Kilowatts. Well, of course, it's power, so it's only kilowatt. Kilojoules per hour. Kilojoules per second. And megawatt, whatever unit you want. Maybe even horsepower if you are using a pump. So let's go to the pump. The results of the pump. Mm, let's say. The efficiencies here, the network requirement, let's use a horsepower. horsepower is right here, so you need very small amounts, very small stream. You can also check out the streams right here. You can even change the type of format. I really prefer the full format. And this one right here is the stream of the stack gas composition. So you can see there's no methane, no ethane, no, any hydrocarbon is not present because we combusted them, all converted to CO2, water, and there is excess of oxygen. And the nitrogen should go in and out without reaction. Vapor fraction, of course, is 100% gas. Maybe you want to check out the temperature. So what's the temperature we achieved? The temperature is 1000 Celsius because, of course, we are combusting hydrocarbons so that's actually very interesting it will be also good to see how much energy we can convert i don't know maybe to heat energy and then to mechanical energy what else let's see what what are the temperatures outlet of the of the sorry the streams right here so the temperature outlet of the first column is 25 celsius and this one right here is should be something about 30 50 celsius and well it's 113 celsius so you can see the profile temperature right here that's interesting let's check out for the last the, con the products let's check out how is c6 compared with other materials so we don't have methane or ethane so that's a very good propane technically speaking Actually, technically speaking, we don't have any of the light gases. We have mostly cycloxane, mostly benzene, and almost nothing toluene. So this is a very good separation scheme. Now let's check out C7, which should be toluene alone. And as you can see, we have no methane, ethane, light gases. Cycloxane is almost nothing benzene is almost nothing compared to the toluene so this is a very good separation lpg gas now we have plenty of all gases so this is mostly butane ethane and propane typically we market as liquefied petroleum gases the propane and butane 
So maybe we will want to recover this ethane fraction. But this was not the scope of our presentation, but that will be a very interesting way to state. Maybe if you have this in your work, you will state that we should recover. Maybe it's worth to recover this natural gas and separate it into the combustion. You could also state that what will happen if we decrease the molar flow rate of oxygen, assuming that we still have full complete combustion. So this way you can check out the results. And yeah, essentially that's what I wanted to show you on this video. You can always check out directly the streams. You can go through the reports. Wait. Results, reports, result summary streams if you have a custom you can also add it and most importantly you can take out all these into excel